Okay, let's try this again. Curio sex pot creation. For right now, mostly just good for placement of beds. Uh, that's pretty much about it. Uh, a lot like RLC one, where it's uh, you use a trigger to do it, and hopefully it'll work. Just a single click, and there you go, and you have some sort of action going on. So in order for it to not get kicked off of YouTube, I'm gonna end action right here. Ah. Okay, and this happens to where it kicks you out simple F5 or if you're in the prop editor just um, go back to your start point okay take two so what we're gonna do I'm not gonna clone him so I can show you how I actually did it I'm gonna go into my prop editor or my scene editor And it's a lot like RLC1 where you have to do offsets and whatnot. Uh, so basically, I'm going to go into my scene tab over here and I'm going to do add a trigger volume first and create uh, and then close. And if you don't see it right away, that's okay. I see it's way down there, but I don't really want to have to go hunt for it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go like this, right click, or excuse me, left, left click, and then I'm going to say move here. And it moves it right to me, so I'm going to reset the, the thing with move here. It'll do the angle that you're standing at too, so I'm actually just put it at zero. And I'm going to move it right about where I want it. Ish. And then I'm going to go left click again. I'm going to do an add add on and I'm going to do, uh, I'll do a female one. And then create and close. And then what I'm going to do is. figure out what the hell I'm doing. That's what I'm going to do. Sometimes to make the arrows pop back up, the little movement arrows, you need to actually go back on. Even though it may have be already selected, you might have to select on it again, or click on it again. So I'm going to kind of get her positioned kind of where I want her to go. And so the thing that you click when you're actually doing the engagement, I set him up a little differently. Um, just because you can't just tell everybody, oh, just click their feet. So, once again, this is just a little bit more complicated with the offsets, but same freaking deal. So, um, what you're going to do, go on a clickable interaction distance. I don't know if this actually has anything. Well, let's find out. Let's see. I set him to 10, so I'm going to... So engagement position. So what we're going to do, I believe, just like with anything else, we're going to, with RLC1, I'm going to start off, the offsets are much, much, much tinier. So I'm going to actually just start off with 1.5 on the X and see what happens. So I'm going to do, yes. I'm just going to click near her feet. So I went that way. I don't really want to go that way. So we obviously need to turn a little bit. We actually need to go the opposite direction. But not that. Okay. We know it works. So engagement distance doesn't really do nothing. Okay. Back into proper. Okay, back in Prop Editor, we're going to not try and click on her because the way I have some of the stuff set up in here, it'll be a pain in the butt to actually get a hold of them. So, I'm going to go back in my trigger volume, so I'm going to look for her. Boom. Okay.
Okay, so I'm going to change her on this part right here. It's got to be this. You don't. This you can actually just move her around, whichever. But I'm leaving her in that box, which is kind of both of those right there. So actually, I'm going to go negative one point. I'm going to say one point seven five. And then I'm going to actually go, I have a feeling this way is going to be negative as well. So I'm going to go negative 1.5. Ooh, 105. Um, may need to go up on the height. But okay, so the rotation, I'm going to start off with uh, 180 and see what happens. No, 180 would actually flip us this way. Let's start off at 90 and see where that leaves me. And I think we're good. Yes, I do. Okay, back out of the pop editor. Moment of truth. Let's see if we got it just to work this time. So it's a single click and we went too far in some kind of direction. Okay, so our rotation is good. Okay, so I went positive on the X, so maybe I went the wrong direction on the Z. Maybe it needs to be positive, which is weird. Okay, we're going to stop action and go back into the prop editor. Okay, so we went all the way over there. We're going to go back into our scene, find the trigger that we want, which is going to be this one, I think. Yep. Back into the selection, go back on to her, and I'm going to say 1.5, and I think we're pretty good on the distance over there, so let's try it again. Okay, cross your fingers that this works, so I'm going to click near her feet where I know the trigger box is at, one time, left click, and we're closer. She's nowhere, but I'm closer. Alrighty. So I'm going to give her a minute to maybe show up sometime. She's going to stand me up, I know it. It's horrible. By a bot. Being stood up by a bot. We are a little bit high, so I'm going to lower us on this time. So I'm going to hit stop action. And I'm going to go back into the scene editor. And look, the hussy showed back up. Okay, so let's click back up on the hussy. And go back into selection. And we're pretty close. We could probably go back a little bit further over that way. Which I'm going to do at like one point. Let's go 65. And then I'm going to actually go down a little bit. So I'm going to go negative. And this is important. Always, if you're going to do a decimal, a really small number, like a 0.25, always put the zero first and then do the decimal. For some reason, if you don't put the decimal and you just put 0.25, oh, well, now it wants to make me a liar watch. Let's see if I do it on positive. Yeah, just a 25. So negative, it's okay, but positive, it'll do it to you. Um, so I think that's pretty good. Hopefully she doesn't stand me up again. Alright, let's see if she shows up. And now I'm gone. Oh, there we are. Okay, so I went too far low, but we're pretty good. I mean, I could go even more this way. But I think... She's pretty good. Um, so let me just fix the up part. So stop the engagement and back into the prop or excuse me, scene editor. So like I said at the beginning of the video, a lot like our C one when it comes to these kind of things where when you're dealing with off offsets, it's a lot of trial and error. So hopefully this will be the last time. So go back into your scene, find the trigger that you want, which is that one.
go into your selection tab and we're going to go on that one and I'm going to go and then I'm going to go crush your finger because I really don't want this to be a super long video and it's already like 10 minutes long so uh, click the lot crush your fingers hope it works yay look pretty good and then you can do whatever positions and whatnot Oh, it actually works for girls now, where we're not, like, doing the same position. That's awesome. So, I'm going to go back into the pop editor from here so I can show you a trick if this happens to you while you're doing this. So, scene, excuse me, scene editor. So, you go into the scene editor. Depending on how long this loads, so I won't pause it. Yay! Okay, scene, and then start point. What you do with this is, when you click it here, you need to go over to selection, and very carefully, because you don't want to move your start point here, you want to, just don't want to click move here, you want to click go there, and voila, you are at your start point. So, um, that's pretty much it. It's a lot like RLC1, lots of fiddling with it, and eventually you'll get it. But the basic gist is creating a trigger box, putting the uh, sex box bot, depending on which one you want, male or female. Males don't have a penis, by the way. Um, and putting that in there. If you need, feel the need that you need to move around the bot themselves, you want to click on the human this little part right here and click on the little arrows and you should be able to move them around. You're still going to need to actually, I believe, click on the actual trigger box itself in order to engage with them. I could be wrong and this once again probably change in a month or two depending on what kind of updates they put in the game. So there you go.